Council member for Peterborough, Kawartha. Hawes Acres has been operating their family farm since 1930. They farm about 2,000 acres, and this year they will pay $10,000 in carbon tax, which will quadruple to $40,000. Now, that may not seem like a lot to this Prime Minister and his trust fund, but it's a lot to the Hawes family. So my question is, will the Prime Minister call Brian Hawes? Will he explain to him how he expects him to pay this extra $40,000? Should he raise prices on Canadians? Or should he cut production so that Canadians are forced to import food from foreign polluting farms? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, just a few days ago, Conservative members voted against the interests of farmers. Just a few days ago, they also voted against measures to promote women's participation in the economy, against free menstrual products, Mr. Speaker, against funding for sexual misconduct investigation, and against subsidizing childcare. Mr. Speaker, what do the Conservatives have against measures that support women? Good question. The Honourable Member for Peterborough Kawartha. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Classic Liberal deflection. When they are down, they will deflect at every fact they can. These are the facts. Under this Prime Minister, housing prices have doubled. Under this Prime Minister, food bank usage is the highest in history. On the OECD, we rank 35 out of 38 in teen mental health. Suicide. Suicide. And who feeds families? Farmers. Who are they cutting? Farmers. So, Mr. Speaker, again, I will ask, will they ask the tax and make life affordable? And the jig is up. Everybody knows they are not telling the truth. Okay, this is my disappointed face. And we can't say whether someone's been telling the truth or not telling. Let's, let's be, care, be careful on that stuff. The Honourable, uh, the Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, if they want to talk about deflection, it's because they don't want to talk about the vote that they took against the Canada Ukraine trade agreement, Mr. Speaker. There's only one member on the other side who's had the courage of her convictions to stand up to the bullying, MAGA style of their leader, and that's the member. Lethbridge. I heard a lot of members try to say that they support Ukraine over the past couple of days, but actions speak louder than words, Mr. Speaker. Just a couple of days ago, they voted against Canada's NATO mission in Ukraine. Mr. Speaker, they don't need to stop deflecting. They should be honest with Canadians about why they're not supporting Ukraine. Is it because there are several members that are MAGA-style conservatives? It's a question Canadians need to ask. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Apparently, there's no interpretation. Oh, it's my friend from Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That's embarrassing deflection from the party that sent a gas turbine back to Russia that is funding Putin's war. Absolutely embarrassing for those liberals. 